Hey, how's it going YouTube and welcome to another video about my old sled. Well, the riding season is long over and uh, today I have a tip for you about summer storage of your snowmobiles, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a little while. Um, sorry I've been offline for a little bit, uh, but I have been thinking about you. So when you store your sled for the summer, you're going to follow a lot of the tips that uh, I did in my other video about getting ready to ride for the season. So you're going to want to make sure it's clean and you want to make sure that you've sprayed any of the metal parts with a good rust protector and that you grease your fittings and that kind of thing. But the other thing you really want to think about is uh, the fuel that's stored in your snowmobile. Um, you're going to get a lot, a lot of guys that will tell you, you don't have to worry about the fuel. Fuel doesn't really break down. You know, I've had that old generator out there for two years um, and I just got it out in the spring, didn't do anything with the gas fired up first pull and you know what you may get lucky I've had that experience as well I've put my lawnmower away every year usually I don't do anything with the fuel in the tank um, but this year I got it out it just would not start change the spark plug no matter what I did I couldn't get it running and all it was was bad gas um, so yes there are components in gasoline that evaporate you can get contaminants in it the bottom line is fuel does break down uh, so the gas in the tank is something that you want to take into consideration when you're doing your summer storage routine and there's basically two ways that you can do it. One is you can drain all of the fuel out of the tank, um, you know, siphon it out and put it in a container, and then make sure you run it so you got all the fuel out of the lines uh, and your carburetors as well. The other thing you can do, and what I do, is put a fuel stabilizer in. So this is another thing that you'll get a lot of differing opinions on. You'll get guys saying this is snake oil, it doesn't do any good. Um, I, all I can do is share my experience with you. And I found that when I use this, I haven't had any problems and I'm going to continue using it. So this one is uh, is XPS, it's the Bombardier fuel stabilizer that I buy. Um, it tells you on the directions how much to add. Um, I think the fuel tank in uh, a 670, if you have one like this, is about 30 liters. Now, the best time to add this is when you're adding fuel to the tank because you want to make sure you get it mixed. Uh, so either put it in and then top your tank up or you know put it in the can and take it to the pump and fill it. Uh, so again, that gets really mixed in well. So this one's really nice because it's got a little measure on it. So we can see it's marked in quarter and a half an ounce. And right here it tells you that one ounce treats 9.4 liters or 2.5 gallons of gas. Just squeeze it up to the level, dump it into your tank, and then just top the tank up. So the other thing you want to do, just like if you uh, empty your tank, likewise if you add fuel stabilizer, you want to run the sled for a while. You want to pull this through the fuel system, through your fuel lines and your carbs, and you want to make sure you get the untreated gas out of there. All right, guys, so just one last thought. The reason that I prefer to use stabilizer and keep my fuel tank full for summer storage uh, versus emptying the tank, there's, there's a couple of reasons for that. Firstly, obviously, it's more work, and you have to figure out something to do with the old fuel. Um, but secondly, if you have an empty tank, you've got a big airspace in there, and if you have an airspace, then you can get condensation depending on where you store the sled. Uh, and if the fuel tank's full, then that doesn't happen. All right, guys, so there you go. Uh, fairly straightforward tip. It's uh, a pretty simple and inexpensive way to prolong the life of your snowmobile and to increase the odds that it's going to start and run properly for you. So I hope you found that video useful. And if you did, go ahead and hit like or subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.